Well, Cancer, you could find yourself in the company of some pretty weird and intense people uh, after the 5th. That's today. It's November 2013. I'm having a look at your horoscope here and just uh, giving you a brief analysis, as I usually do, of what's likely to happen. The important transits, as I see them here, uh, in your horoscope, being the sign of the crab. So looking at that, we do see this Venus-Pluto intensity and then, of course, an opposition from Venus to Jupiter indicating somewhat excessive relationships, excessive expenditure, either by yourself or by your partner. This could could create a brawl, especially if you're not happy with the way your partner, it could be a business partner, is handling the finances at this time. And you need to bring that out into the open. Pluto has a tendency to do that. Anything that's been hidden will be brought out quick, smart. So you need to jump on that. Don't dilly-dally and make your point if you have to. Um, so that's pretty significant. Venus generally is good in this uh, part of the horoscope. It's moving into what we call the angular, uh, one of the angles of the zodiac. And uh, this is the seventh angle, the sign of Capricorn, which is good for you. And um, overall, this should make for you know an amorous sort of period for you. Along with the fact that you have the Sun, Mercury, and Saturn in the fifth house, and Jupiter, of course, still moving through your rising sign, or what we call the sun sign, in the in the exaltation, exaltation position, its best position in 12 years. So <clears throat> overall, the pattern is good. One indicating a lot of creativity, love, and romance. Another thing I should add is that this fifth sector, the romance and creative element of your horoscope, uh, sees a new moon very early um, in the month. So, you know, you're experiencing that even right now. So you could be turning over a new leaf, looking at some new activities that are going to fulfill you and make you feel as though you're not just you know, trading water and not getting anywhere right now. So this is usually enjoyable and uh, you should pursue that with a whole lot of uh, gusto. You've got Mars in the third house and that's also moving into a very, very good aspect to this Saturn, which is in the fifth house, exact on the ninth. So it's very constructive for any creative work that you want to do. For sports people out there born under the sign of the crab, <coughs> this is going to give you some additional endurance. Uh, but you could find resistance from other people. Uh, maybe it could mean resistance training. A bit of hard workout at the gym will help you get things done and make you feel as if you're accomplishing a lot more right now. For those of you with uh, the sun in cancer, the exact aspect of the sun on the Tenth is very, very nice, giving you a boss to your personality and your health. I like that. It gives you more of a harmonious feeling with that yourself and even the authority figures in your environment. Um, that's also accentuated by that uh, additional sextile aspect between Mars and the Sun on the 15th. By the way, when I'm saying the 15th and these dates, that anything leading up to that can be within a few days of that aspect because naturally we don't have your exact birth date. So uh, I have to be a little bit loose on the dates here. So give me a bit of latitude on that. Uh, when we're talking sun sign astrology, it's like that. Um, some uh, rather unusual behavior on the part of your partner. Again, when I say partner, I relate to uh, business partners as well. Uh, there could be some social inappropriateness or you could feel a bit uncomfortable in some situation there. Um, there's a rebellious streak in the heavens at that time and this could come from someone you love, a good f close friend, someone in the family even, that makes you feel a little bit unstable because, of course, feeling secure for you is important and this sort of transit could make you feel exactly the opposite. There, there's a continuation of that with the conjunction of Venus to Pluto that we talked about. That's happening exactly on the 16th. So <clears throat> these could be a conflict of your own survival with someone else's survival. Sometimes that does have to do with ego conflicts as well. Issues of trust could come into play and possessiveness and jealousy, which are not very, very nice human traits need to be guarded against. The sun enters your sixth house on the 22nd, uh, uh, just after the Mars sextile to Jupiter. So those of you that have plans to do something big, bigger and brighter, could be again be related to work. It's the time to do that now. Any of you changing work will find that you're benefited by making some moves around that time. Emotions could be cold around the uh, 24th. Uh, we talked about issues of jealousy and uh, 
and the possessiveness that could uh, cool the relationship down after the 24th. And you could be confused towards the end of the month from around the 25th uh, into the 27th due to the aspects of the Sun to Neptune, Venus to the Sun and uh, Mercury to uh, Saturn. So this could slow you down. Don't sulk. You know, it's best to talk about feelings rather than locking yourself away and brooding over a problem rather than bringing it out in the open. That Pluto energy, I think, might uh, save the day, even though it's not often welcomed by a lot of people. You know, you need to break things down, kill them off before you can see a rebirth of sorts. Look forward to your company again next month. Astrology.com.au is my website, and we do have more detailed analysis of this uh, month in question, along with the daily readings, the year in focus, and a lot of other free stuff as well. Naturally, if you want to have a personal reading, I'm there along with hundreds of other psychics in our network who can help you to make heads or tails of what's going on in your life right now. Good luck. See you next month. Bye-bye.